it is 2.21 in the morning on November the 20, I think it's the 24th. I'm not certain. I tried to pull my um my um phone screen down to see what the date was, but I don't know. For some reasons like my spirit is not at rest. And I've been on my computer just listening to just some gospel. And um I want to share some of it with you. But I just I just wanted to say some things like, you know, my my soul my soul weeps for a lot of people. For a lot of us. For us, I say us because I fall into that same category. What what we don't understand is that we are all spiritual beings. We are having a human experience. You know, we, we were all of the spirit and we were born into this earthly realm. That's what we don't understand. All this foolishness that's going on, all this racism, all this killing. That's that's not God's plan. That's not what he, he deemed for. That's not, that's not what he created us for. But he did create us to experience, to have this human experience. I am of the flesh. So, we all fall short. We all sin. No sin is bigger than the other sin, but, but we all fall short. And I just, I, I look at my Facebook post, my friends. Sometimes I get upset because the last, the last thing I want is to have an enemy. And I mean, y'all might not believe it, but I went through a state of depression. You know, I've always felt like, you know, treat others how I would have them treat me. So I don't, I don't judge people. That's me. I don't I don't judge people because I know how it feels to be judged. And when you look at someone, all you're looking at is the outer shell. You're looking at a hard cover book. But unless you take the time to open that book and read the pages, my thing is don't don't blast somebody. Don't talk about somebody. Don't don't judge anybody. You got to first think about what God has forgiven you for. And then you look at that person the same way. They're going through things. You don't know what that person been through. That's why I'm I'm so judge free. That's why I I I compliment everybody. That's why I try to inspire people. That's why I every once in a while some of my friends might say that they receive messages from me in their Facebook messengers that say, "Hey, you are beautifully made. God made you for a reason. Your flaws are what make you unique. Because sometimes people need to hear that. We're not all beauty queens. We're not perfect. We're not all size sevens. Which, Monique Daniels, Andrea, I, I, I believe I'm a size seven in my head. Even though, you know, huh? I, I, I'm, a, I'm a hard seven. I'm a tight seven to get in. <laughs> But people have a dream. Don't shut down their dreams just because yours failed. And if it failed, you keep going. You keep going. Don't don't be angry. Don't get envious. Don't get mad. I don't care if you dropped out of school. I don't care if you had several babies by several different baby daddies. You are no better than the next person. They're no better than you. You are on the same level as the Pope. And 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 look at it like this. Don't you you're you're mad at yourself. You're like, oh, I can't forgive myself for what I did last year. I can't forgive myself for sleeping with that person. Oh God, I can't forgive myself for what I did to guess what? It's not up to you to forgive yourself. If it was up to us to forgive ourselves, you know how much foolishness, how many sins we would commit every day? God forgives us. The only thing he asks for us to do is forgive our fellow man as he forgives us. That's why he says that how many times you're supposed to forgive somebody? 
what is it, 77 times 7? You're supposed to give a person that many times a day. When they were about to crucify Jesus, what, what happened? What did they say? Turn the other cheek. It's not going to kill you to eat it. That's just their opinion. It shouldn't matter. You don't have to worry about somebody. You don't you don't need to you don't need to be so caught up on oh what this person think. Oh, I need a man. I need a woman to complete me. Why? Why do you need somebody to do the job that God has already done for you? God created you completed. He made you complete. Why are you looking for a man to complete you? Look in your Bible. Bible tells you man will fail you every time. Not sometimes. Not most of the time. The Bible tells you that man will fail you every time. Look in the Bible. What 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 in, what you read in the Bible that hadn't come to pass? A lot of people afraid of revelations, cause revelation to get them where they need to be. Revelation tells them what's coming, what's already happening, what's coming to pass. A lot of people scared of revelations. Even if you don't want to touch revelations, look at the other books of the Bible. And don't worry if if you young and dumb, if you making mistakes, don't worry about it. A lot of it's all about how you finish. And a lot of people in the Bible were in their older ages when they finished well. But we living in our last days. You know, God tells you in the Bible it says we never know when the coming is gonna happen, when the rapture is gonna take place. But if you read your Bible, a lot of stuff in Revelation is coming to pass. So if you if you ain't got yourself right with God, you need to start getting yourself right. And don't let nobody judge you. I read a post the other day and I thought it was so stupid. And I said, it's so, so stupid. A guy posted, a dude posted, you in a club on Saturday, but Sunday you went in the praise group or you worshiping. Okay, so what? My belief is if if you're going to go hard in the club, then you go harder in church the next day. But that's just my belief. You don't need nobody to just, you don't justify yourself to nobody. That's that person's own issue. Don't let their problem be your problem. Because they got some issues about what they're going through. I don't care what nobody has to say about me. I know I'm right with my maker. I fall short. What's that song? We fall down, but we get up. A saint is a sinner. How do you think they got to where they was without making mistakes? Some, I mean, parents always want to chastise you and tell you, don't do this, don't do that. But sometimes you got to let that child put their hand on the stove and get burnt for them to learn that lesson not to get burnt again. You pray that it don't kill them, that they'll learn from their mistake. But I mean, if it's your time, it's your time. That's why you always got to be right. Be right with God. Be right with yourself. Man will fail you. We all live in glass houses. Why are you worried about what the next man got to say? Why? They got skeletons in their closets. And, and you stop being so judgmental. Stop, stop, stop preaching. Stop talking a good talk. Walk that walk. Because unfortunately, the society we live in, that's what people look at. How you telling me what to do? How you doing this? How you doing that? And you ain't doing it for yourself. Sometimes God works through mysterious ways. Sometimes he works through that pimp or that whore or that prostitute or that adulterer or that thief or that killer. Sometimes that's how he works and how he gets to you. Don't judge the person. Don't be mad at the person. Be mad at the offense. Be mad at the sin. That person trying to get it just like you trying to get it. And when I say they trying to get it, they trying to get to that heavenly goal just like you trying. Nobody want to burn in hell. I burnt myself before. Nobody want to burn. So when I say when we sin, we don't purposely sin. But for those that purposely sin, get yourself right. Get yourself together. 
Don't 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 purposely do stuff to people. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 intentionally go out to hurt somebody. Don't do that. God judges your heart. He judges your heart. That's it. He judges your heart regardless of what you've done in the past. He looks at your heart. Again, remember, we are spirits. We're just having a human experience. He gives you these earthly pleasures. God didn't tell you not to drink. He didn't tell you not to enjoy food. He didn't tell you not to go out there and have fun, not to enjoy music, not to dance. He didn't tell you none of that foolishness. Only thing he said is gluttony is a sin. And you know what gluttony is? Overindulging. That is the sin. He gave you these pleasures. And don't feel like you got to up and go get married. You can you can you can be single and have the best connection with God there is. You should be so caught up in God that the only time that you look down is when he sends you that person. And you say, "Yes, you are heavenly sent." Stop looking for people. Maybe that's that's what's wrong. Maybe that's why you make bad decisions and bad choices. Stop looking for people to complete you. Stop looking for people to do something that God has already done. You are complete. You're complete. You are made in his image. Your flaws and all. I got a big nose. I got a big forehead. I wear weave. I struggle with my weight. But I am happy with myself. I do what they say, do it for the vine. I do it for myself and I do it because God made me this way. I don't get too caught up in photography. And, and I hate it when people, a lot, I get bashed because I take a lot of photos. Don't get mad at me, get mad at God. And then if you can't get mad at God, then get over it. He made me, I'm perfectly made in his image. People with their bodies that they didn't buy. You know, God made them in their image. Don't get mad at them. And even if they bought their body, that's something that they have to answer to with their maker. You know what I'm saying? Stop judging people. That's what's wrong with the world. Worry about yourself. Worry about your soul. Worry about your salvation. Then maybe this would be the perfect world. I weep for this world. I weep for mankind. People are killing each other. And, and, and they steady trying, other people are steady trying to find excuses. Oh, the Muslim, oh, the black people, black on black crime. And, you know, I, I get caught up in that same thing. My first, my first thing is why, why, why they don't understand that they're the biggest terrorists in the world. But that's not on me. That's not up to me to try to convince anybody. I ask for forgiveness for those thoughts. Lord, have mercy on me and have mercy on their souls. You be right. Be right yourself. Don't worry about the next person. If you could save a life, if you could save a soul, then you do so. But if not, either two things can happen. Either a person can build you up in a relationship or they will bring you down. It's your choice. You decide. Your choice. Nobody else's.